What's up YouTube? This is your boy John from Project Ellsworth and I am back with you today for a very special unboxing video. I received this in the mail yesterday from them guys right there. And given what today's date is, I have a feeling that you guys may figure out what is inside of this box. This is an unboxing video. So as usual, I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. All right, so I've been waiting for this sucker for a while. I know what's inside of this box. I'm pretty sure you know what's inside of this box. So I wasn't going to order this. And I wasn't going to order it because I already have all of these movies multiple times. <clears throat> I have another really cool steel uh, collector's edition, limited edition uh, box for all of these movies. But all of the guys that I stream with on Saturday night ordered this box set. And I did not want to be the one guy sitting in the corner that didn't have it. I didn't want to cry over spilled milk. So I figured rather than spill that milk, I'd spend the money and order this box set. So let me get it out of here so I can stop being so secretive, even though I know that you guys know what's in this box set. Or excuse me, inside of this box. Anybody that's out there in the horror community anyway. And you guys looked at the thumbnail and the title of the video. So by now I know you know what's inside of this box. All right, here we go. Here it is. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on this sucker. I'm on. Trying to be careful about to get my address on here. All right, it's out of the box. That box is out of the way. And there she is. The Friday the 13th box set from Shout Factory. Check it out. Very, very cool. See, there's the front. Yeah, I almost didn't buy this thing. I would have been very upset once I saw everybody else get theirs that I didn't get this sucker. And there's all the DVDs. Clear cases, all uniform writing on there. Looks amazing. Very, very cool. Let me get this thing open very delicately. I don't want to damage anything. So yeah. Through the, uh, the magic of editing and scheduling in YouTube, this is about a month before, uh, I'm unboxing this about a month before this video is actually airing. Matter of fact, I think today is October 13th. So it is a month. All right, there we go. Let's see, get this off of here. There's more artwork on here. Get that out of the way. Oh, that's what it is. It wraps around. Okay. God, that's awesome. Awesome stuff, man. So friggin' cool. The case is nice and rigid. Let's see. I'm going to take them all out so that I don't drop these things. And I'll show you each one individually. I'm hoping that this doesn't turn out to be a crazy long video. If it does, sorry. All right. There's part one. Let me grab my glasses real quick. All right, the bonus features on here is a new 4K scan of the original, original camera negative, both the uncut version and the theatrical rated R version. I do not know if I've ever seen the uncut version of this movie. So this already is exciting for me. Uh, audio commentary with Sean Cunningham and Victor Miller, uh, author Peter Brackett, or Peter Brack and more. All right, so that's all part of the commentary. Fresh Cuts, the new tales uh, from Friday the 13th. The Man Behind the Legacy, Sean S. Cunningham. Theatrical trailer, TV spot, radio spots, and still gallery. So that's everything that comes on this. Yep, just as I figured. Double disc. It looks like, yep, it looks like you can, yeah, it has alternate artwork as well. It does. That's also very cool. You can flip the, uh, the artwork over or the sleeve over and use the alternate artwork. Yeah, this is, this is freaking badass. Friday the 13th, part two. New 4K scan, Inside Crystal Lake Memories, the book, Friday, uh, Friday's Legacy, Horror Conventions, 
Podcast interview with Amy Steele, theatrical trailer, TV spots, radio spots, still gallery. All right, this one's only got one disc, but it does have alternate artwork in there. More basic, but I actually kind of like that. It's kind of effective. All right. Friday the 13th, part three in 3D. I don't know how many of you have ever seen this movie in 3D. It's kind of hokey and, we and weird, but it's kind of it's also kind of cool at the same time. Very nostalgic for me. This was uh, this was all over cable television when I was a kid. Friggin' fantastic. All right, let's see. And this is also where Jason gets his mask, for those of you who don't know. New 4K scan. So I'm wondering if this whole thing is 4K. That's awesome. I didn't even look that far into it, to be honest with you. I just saw it and knew I wanted it. All right, new 4K scan of the original uh, original negative. Audio commentary with the actors Larry Zerner, Paul Kratka, Richard Brooker, which is my favorite Jason of all time, uh, and Dana Kimmel. Fresh Cuts 3D Terror, Legacy of the Mask, Theatrical Trailer, TV Spot, and Still Gallery. All right. Here is my personal favorite Friday the 13th movie. I flip-flop back and forth between this one and the first one. Always have, probably always will. This one also is one disc with basic uh, alternate artwork. Very cool nonetheless. Basic is good. Less is more. I've learned that a long time ago. New 4K scan, audio commentary. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Fan audio commentary uh, by Adam Green and Joe Lynch. I'm not sure who Joe Lynch is. Adam Green is the creator of the Hatchet series. Did a movie called Frozen. Uh, what else has he done? I know there was another one. The Muck. Some, uh, can't even remember. Now, now it's going to be stuck in my... Never mind. Adam Green is really cool. He's done several really good horror movies. Uh, slash scenes with audio commentary Joe Zito Jason's unlucky day 25 years after Friday the 13th the final chapter the lost ending that's friggin badass I gotta watch all these I, I'm gonna rifle through this set as soon as October's over. well again through the magic of YouTube and scheduling October is already over when you're seeing this uh, theatrical trailer and still gallery Next, uh, Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning. I actually like that artwork right there quite a bit. That strap was, that killing was really cool. However, if you watch closely, you'll see the guy cranking the strap one way. It cuts away and when it comes back, he's cranking the strap the other way. It's almost like he's tightening it and then unloosening it. Or tightening it and then loosening. Unloosening would be tightening. Whatever. All right. Alternate artwork. All right, and audio com All right, this one does not appear to be 4K. Audio ca commentary with the actors, audio commentary with the director and screenwriter, uh, fan audio commentary with Adam Green and Joe Lynch again, New Beginnings, Making of Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, Lost Tales from Camp Blood Part 5, Crystal Lake Massacre Revisited Part 2, Theatrical Trailer, and Still Gallery. That Adam Green movie that I was trying to remember was Digging Up the Marrow. It just took a minute to click. All right, next up is Friday the 13th, Jason Lives. This is a huge fan favorite. I know my buddy Cody, this is his favorite of the Friday the 13th movies. I like it a lot, but it's definitely not my favorite. All right, this one does not have alternate artwork in it. It just has artwork inside. All right, and the bonus features on this guy. Audio commentator with the actors, uh, with the actors C.J. Graham who played Jason, Tom Matthews who played uh, Tommy, Vincent Gustafero. Sure, I don't even know if that's how you say his name. Carrie Noonan and Cynthia Kania. Audio commentary with the writer director. Audio commentator with uh, Tom McLaughlin, Vincent blah 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 again. Editor Bruce Green. Fan audio commentary with Adam Green and Joe Lynch. I gotta find out who Joe Lynch is, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Lives, The Making of Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. Lost Tales of Camp Blood, Part 6, The Crystal Lake Massacre Revisited, Part 3. The hell? Meeting Mr. Voorhees, Slashed Scenes, Theatrical Trailer, and Still Gallery. Meeting Mr. Voorhees. 
I know that one of these movies was supposed to include Mr. Voorhees, Jason's father, but I don't remember which one that was. I wonder if it was that one, and that's what that is, a discussion about why that never happened. All right, Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. We're all familiar with that image. All right, let's see. No alternate artwork in this one either. This one was weird. It was like Jason versus Carrie to me. Mark of Horror actually put that thought in my head, and he's absolutely right. All right, audio commentary with John Carl Buechler and Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder was Jason four times. Uh, commentary with John Carl Blucher, Lar Park Lincoln, and Kane Hodder. So there's two commentary tracks. Jason's Destroyer, The Making of Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood. Slashed Scenes, which I have to assume that that's just scenes that didn't make it into the movie. Oh, excuse me, folks. Mind Over Matter, The Truth About Telekinesis. Well, who needs that? Makeover, Makeover by Maddie. Need a Little Touch-Up Work, My Ass. Okay. Theatrical Trailer and Still Gallery. All right, next up is where these movies went way south for me, but it's they're still Friday the 13th movies. You still got to watch them. All right, Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh-huh, and no alternate artwork, but it does have that really cool picture of him standing in front of that billboard. All right, let's see. Audio commentary with Rob Hedden. Audio commentary with actors Scott Reeves, Jansen Daggett, and Kane Hodder. New York Has a Problem, The Making of Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, Slashed Scenes, Gag Reel, Theatrical Trailer, Still Gallery. All right, so this is probably really cool, too. All that bonus stuff. I mean, I've seen all these movies so many times, but the bonus features, it's, oh, God. Here's the one that is, hands down, my least favorite Friday the 13th movie ever made, and I have to assume that ever will be made. I hate this movie. Jason goes to hell. But I'll watch the bonus features. Oh, this one does have alternate artwork. But why? All right, I see it. It's a little bit different, but not a whole lot different. So it's the same cover with a different inside, uh, different back. All right, let me see. That's the unrated version. See, now I'm seeing that. Now it's going to make me want to watch it. God damn it. All right, so this one clearly has an uh, unrated version and a theatrical version. Unrated version and theatrical version. New 2K scan of the introspective. Uh, the, of the, not introspective, interpositive. I'm not uh, that deep into film knowledge to know what that even means. Audio commentator with the director and the author. New interviews with Adam Marcus and Kane Hodder. Additional TV footage with new optional audio commentary with Adam Marcus and Peter Brack. Audio commentary with Adam Marcus and Dan Laurie. And theatrical trailer. All right. Jason, Jason X. Jason in space. This movie was just as ridiculous as it sounds. But I still didn't hate it as much as Jason Goes to Hell. Jason Goes to Space, acceptable. Jason Goes to Hell, not acceptable. And even that would have been acceptable if it was Jason, if he was actually in the damn movie. All right, new interviews with producers Sean S. Cunningham and Noel Cunningham and actors Kate, uh, Kane Hodder and Christy Angus. Audio commentary with Jim Isaac, Todd Farmer, and Noel Cunningham. The Many Lies of Jason Voorhees, a documentary of on the history of Jason by any means necessary, the making of Jason X and the theatrical trailer. All right. Freddy vs. Jason. This one has literally all the movies in it. That's so badass. All right. Alternate artwork. Very cool. I don't know which one of them I like better. I think I like the alternate better, to be honest with you. Oh, my case is cracked. All right, I got to send it back. No, I don't. I'm not going to have a fit over something like that. Although I know for the price of this, I should have a fit over something like that. But whatever. I'll switch it with Jason Goes to Hell because I know I'll never pull that out anyway. Commentary by Ronnie Yu, actors Robert England and Ken Kersinger. Deleted alternate scenes including the original opening and ending featurette gallery covering the film's development, art direction, makeup effects, stunt work, and more. Visual effects exploration with creative team. 
public uh, publicity and promotion vignettes, Il Nino, How Can I Live, music video, theatrical trailer, and TV spots. A whole bunch of stuff on there. And here is the controversial remake of Friday the 13th, which touches on several of the first movies all inside of this one movie. I think this movie's amazing. I love it. And I know there's a lot of Friday the 13th people out there that do not feel the same way. And I like the alternate artwork of this DVD, or excuse me, this Blu-ray as well. All right, what do we got on here? Both the original theatrical version and extended unrated, excuse me, extended unrated cut. Hacking back, slashing forward, terror, terror trivia track with picture in picture, with seven best kills, the rebirth of Jason Voorhees, and slashed scenes. And after all of those bonus foot features on all of those discs, there is another disc that is all bonus features. This has got to have some awesome stuff on it. New interview with composer Harry Manfr Manfredini. New location featurette. Return to Crystal Lake making Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th Chronicles. Secrets galore behind the gore. Uh, Slice and Dice, a slasher film forever. Scream Queens horror heroines exposed. Crystal Lake victims tell all. Tales from the cutting room. Friday Artifacts and Collectibles and Jason Forever. This is two discs and I can see already that it is the end of part one is the inside of this one. So yeah, this box set is fabulous and it's not over yet. It also comes with a booklet which I am terrible at folding for paging through these booklets on camera. I don't know why this don't ever work right for me. So we're gonna try again. There it is. Nice color pictures. That's a lot of the early stuff. We're up to part four there, part five, part six, seven, there's eight. That is, yeah, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason, uh, Jason X. It's just a booklet that appears to have a little bit of a write-up on every single film in the franchise. All right, so without ever watching any of these, I can't wait to see the 4, 4K scans of those first four movies. That's what is Friday the 13th to me, is those first four movies. That's my childhood. That's my nostalgia. That's right in my wheelhouse. Cannot wait to watch those 4K scans of those. So that is it, folks. There's the DVD, or excuse me, the Blu-rays again. There's the box one more time. Absolutely fabulous. All right. I cannot wait to break that sucker out. By the time this thing airs, I'm probably going to have watched all of this. So the magic of movie making or YouTube video making. All right. I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Later, folks.